Good morning. A whole lot of you may have been following some of the videos I've been making related to the PG&E power line clearing. Um, a message was left for me from a subcontractor, Malbury's. The person's name was Pasquale. And we're going to go ahead and return that phone call. Hang on. We're going to return that phone call. And uh, you'll get to hear <laughs> the kind of uh, response we've been hearing for two years. Here you go. So this is Pasquale from Malbury's. He left a message he wanted to get on my property to trim some trees. So, these workers came to my house on uh, Monday, which was the 21st, I believe, and uh, for the first time, the subcontractors actually had a GPS on their phone, and they were attempting to locate a number of trees, a number of trees that had been marked by uh, power line surveyors back in May. They said, Davy Tree, I read their work order. They said in May, Davy Tree had come out and had marked two firs and a black oak. So we walked around in the forest and it was very clear, even with the GPS tool, the workers were unable to identify exactly which trees had been marked. Uh, at one point, they considered a buckeye as the black oak. At another point, they considered what we call a white oak as the tree. Um, the fir trees that we looked at had already been topped so savagely in the past that the only real outcome would be that those trees would die. They would never grow up and interfere with the power line. So I appreciate that the judge working with PG&E has uh, required a better communication skills between the vegetation inspectors and the subcontractors, and that would be GPS identifying the trees and identifying the power lines but I gotta tell you nothing had changed except for I have three guys walking around almost embarrassed because they were unable to really use the tool that had been given to them so until such time as we can meet with the vegetation inspector the actual inspector who had marked those trees to identify specifically which trees needed to be pruned there's really no reason for a property owner to comply. In, if they cut down the wrong tree, if they prune the wrong tree, and then quality control returns, then we have more trees that have to be cut and the wrong trees were taken unnecessarily. So um, just wanted to give you that little update. Sorry for the boring video here. Bye.